Sunny days are always fun, but I like rainy days too. I don't mind getting a bit wet when I play in the rain or jump in puddles. With a bit of luck, it can also be sunny and rainy at the same time. The perfect time to see a rainbow. You can't touch a rainbow and as much as you wish for it to be true, there's no pot of gold at the end. So what exactly is a rainbow and how do they form? The light from the sun is actually a mixture of all the colours in the visible light spectrum. We call this white light. A rainbow is caused by light being refracted when entering a droplet of water, then reflected inside on the back of the droplet and refracted again when leaving it. In a primary rainbow, the arc shows red on the outer part and violet on the inner side. We can model and observe a rainbow using a prism. When the prism is placed between the source of light and a solid surface, the light is broken up into all the colours of a rainbow. This is because each colour is a different wavelength of light and the prism bends the different wavelengths by different amounts. In nature, a rainbow can form whenever light interacts with water droplets. What other ways can rainbows form? Don't forget to subscribe!